Hello everyone. This is my quick tutorial about cleaning your Mac. I'll show you how to remove digital junk from different parts of your Mac. Hopefully you'll get a faster, healthier, and more productive Mac. And here's how to do that. Step number one. Applications you've installed on your Mac can take up space, of course. And over time your Mac gets filled up with different apps you never use. That's why it starts running slower. First, you may open up your applications in the launch pad. Command and hold any app until it starts shaking. Now click the X sign to uninstall an app. Hooray, a large portion of junk is gone. Okay, number two. The thing is, when your Mac boots up, it runs a lot of unnecessary apps, but it's quite easy to take control of it. Go to your system preferences, then users and groups, and then click on your username. Now click on login items, and select a program you don't immediately need when your Mac starts up. Cool, you've just made your Mac boot up faster. Step number three, delete system junk. The most common type of system junk is the cache. Cache files are meant to provide faster access to the sites you've already visited. They're stored deep in system folders and aren't easy to dig out. They also waste a lot of space on your Mac, and instead of speeding things up, they might slow your computer down. So how do you get rid of them? There are two ways to do that. You can delete them manually, or use dedicated software. Which app should you use? It's up to you, but I prefer the tool called Clean My Mac X. It collects some system junk across every folder on your Mac. It's also fun to use. Try downloading Clean My Mac X. The link is in the description, or you can just Google it. When you run Clean My Mac X, you'll see a tab called System Junk. Just click on it, and you're done. Now that's a lot of space just cleaned up. Okay, step number four. Let's empty your trash. Seriously, it may sound incredibly basic, but it could free up a surprising amount of space. Even I forget to do it sometimes. Control click your trash in the dock. Select empty trash, and then just click empty trash. And the easiest step is done. Step number five, downloads. Some people's download folders are like dusty closets that have never been cleaned for years. So open your downloads and sort them by size. Here you are. Last year's presentations, movies, files you barely remember creating. You can delete the largest files or compress them and move them onto some external drive. Once again, the app we just used, Clean My Mac X, has something to offer here too. It has something called Large and Old File Scanner. It's an even quicker way to find what's eating up your storage space. Now I'll launch Clean My Mac. Just click to scan large and old files. Here are categories like archives, pictures, and movies. They're extremely handy. Now it's time to review all your files and delete everything you don't need. Almost done. Step number six. Another method that's really simple. Click on the Apple logo. From there, click About This Mac, and then Storage. Do you see a button titled Manage? Just click there. Here you can choose Optimize Storage to automatically delete all your watched content from iTunes. Songs, podcasts, movies. Now they're just wasting space, but if need be, you can download them later anytime. And done! Step number seven. Here we go. Find your largest space wasters. Now, since our goal here is to clean up your Mac, it's good to find out what it is that wastes your disk space. And here we'll perform a sort of x-ray of your drive. This is a really cool procedure and we'll need Clean My Mac X for that. So once you've got Clean My Mac X, there's a free version of this app. You can see the link in the description. Just go ahead and launch it. As you run Clean My Mac X, you can find the tool called Space Lens. Now scan. You see? Now you've got the visual map of your entire drive and you can see what takes up the most space. Those big bubbles are the reason you're losing space. Review what's in the bubbles, click on a file, and then hit remove. But always double check what you're deleting. Pretty impressive, right? Okay, now check your available disk space. Click on the Apple logo again, and then About This Mac, and then Storage. Have you cleaned up a lot of space? Awesome. Alright, see some more helpful links in the description. See you later.